Just getting here right now. Usual group. <laughs> got my bully ray suck sign, got a Samoa Joe action figure in there. Oh yeah. We'll hopefully they got it. hopefully they got photos for people to sign. Hopefully it's a good show. It's at NIU. So you can see a lot of snow coming down. Hopefully it's not that bad when we leave, but I'll get some footage for you guys inside. Got anything for anyone to sign except some old show? I thought they would have at least an eight by ten or something by the table, but they don't. Merchandise boots. I don't want to get the program. I already got like three programs at home. I didn't bring, but I don't know. We're waiting to see what gets announced down over there. They got tables. Hopefully it ends up being good. Uh, right now we're just waiting over by the merchandise stands. No posters, nothing. So I'll keep you guys filled in on who comes out. I got absolutely nothing for anyone to sign except Samoa Joe, and uh, maybe I'll have Magnus on a ticket or something, I got no idea, but I'll try to get some footage up there. Just bought this, it was 50 bucks. It's good for two people. And uh, we'll be meeting Holy Ray and hopefully he signs that. Hopefully he signs this right here. If it lasts throughout the show, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. We're just sticking around at the moment, waiting for the show to start. It's about 7 o'clock. show starts at like 7.30. And uh, just got to by the merchandise pool.
is the Tag Champs, losers! Dude, give it up. I'll Smile. Walk out right now, and nobody will get anything. You think I'm kidding? I'll Guys. walk out right now, and none of you will get anything. So stop freaking laughing. Oh yeah, I'll take a picture. Signs causing a lot of trouble, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, he got me with that beer, brother. Oh, far with that. <laughs> Sorry, that's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. I'm like, ah! Nice to meet you. I've heard a lot of things. I was going to my class. Got it. <laughs> She inscribed it to Kevin. And I hope you guys enjoyed that clip. That's the biggest one. It was an intense moment for me. I didn't know how he was going to react to this time. All we got is a good match up. Samoa Joe versus Magnus. It's going to be good. Yeah, guys. Surprise, Samoa.
you guys so i hope you enjoyed that video thanks if you watched it all uh real quick i want to just go over some quick stuff with the video uh when you seen that guy flashing the camera you guys are probably like, what the hell why the hell why the hell would you put that in a video you know, it, was, it was funny because jeremy borash was just in the rig and he was pretty much like who wants backstage passes uh get loud you know let's see who the craziest fans are in here and that guy all of a sudden just started flashing the camera and it was just it was funny and you know? i just turned and i got it and i was like you know i'm gonna throw it in the video uh, funny thing is, I uh, found out that that guy was related to some guy I'm subscribed to on YouTube, and he subscribed to me, and he also makes wrestling videos, So, and his name is Junior1216, uh, that's his cousin, not the actual guy, but yeah, I'll have his link down below, make sure you go check him out, thanks for uh, asking him for permission for me to use him in a video, uh, definitely appreciate it. So, we were able to meet, uh, the pre-show was, pre-show fan interaction was pretty cool. You know, I didn't, before we were even going in, Jimmy J was making it sound like it was going to be, like, horrible or something, like, meeting the wrestlers. Like, he was saying, like, um, before we even got inside the arena, he was just like, when you go meeting him, uh, try to go for a quick picture, you know, lean over the table for a picture. And it was completely different. I thought it was going to be, like, one of those, like, signings where it would be, like, one of those small tables and everyone would be sitting there and you have to, like, lean over for a picture, which is, I hate those so much. Uh, but... It wasn't like that. It was a high tabletops, like fan interaction they have at all their pay per views and stuff, which is really cool. I've seen how that's set up for their pay per views, and I really want to go to one one day. Hopefully, they come back here for a pay per view somewhere in the Chicagoland area. Uh, I know this was my third TNA show within since since I went to one in March, uh, June, and now February. So pretty much within a year I've been to three TNA shows and all I can say is the first two were TVs and this one was a house show and the house show was awesome uh, this is my first house show I haven't been to a WWE house show this is my first wrestling house show and I like all I can say was it was great uh, going to the two TNA TV shows which was a blast you know I'd always get the first uh, VIP tickets the front row VIP tickets I know Peoria was like three hours away so that was kind of a drive uh, but definitely well worth it the one for Chicago, which was in technically in, uh, it was in the, one of the suburbs, and we were able to, it's like 15, 20 minutes away from here, so it's pretty cool. Short drive, that was a great night, you know, Bully Ray, and Bully Ray is a great guy, you know, great wrestler, and I just, I got a lot of respect for him, and I, even though I, when I go to the shows, before he even came out, um, I had a jacket, and I had the, right now, the shirt I was wearing was an Aces and Eights Bully Ray 5150 shirt, and right before, right when I heard Anderson's music hits, uh, I'm just like, oh, okay, he's going against Bully Ray. So then I throw on my jacket, sip it up. I'm like, I can't be showing a Bully Ray shirt with a Bully Ray suck sign. And <laughs> Bully Ray just Anderson comes out. You know, he goes around. You see him holding up my sign, and then all of a sudden he goes around to the front, and he gets cheap shot from behind by Bully Ray. And then Bully Ray, just, Bully Ray is hilarious, you know, that's the one, is just so funny how he was going off on uh, Brian Hever. And after that match was the backstage uh, intermission, which intermission is only 50 bucks for two people. And so it's pretty much $25 a person, and you meet like guys like Bobby Roode, Mr. Anderson, Samoa Joe, uh, Bully Ray, uh, James Storm. And, you know, it was definitely well worth it. You know, you go to any other signings. And they'll be charging like 30 bucks for a photo, 30 bucks for an autograph, which is complete BS. And this, you know, you're getting a good deal at TNA. So go to a TNA house show if you want to meet some guys. It was a good deal. Uh, definitely, you won't uh, be spending as much money as you, you probably think you will be. Uh, but yeah, guys, I know uh, a lot of people try to bash TNA and stuff for the attendance. Who cares about the attendance? 
uh, go to the show, enjoy the wrestling. What are you there for? To watch other people sitting in uh, other seats? Or, it's just that's the one thing I'll, I'll never understand. But let me show you guys the sign. This was freaking badass. I didn't know how he was gonna react. You know, I was holding the sign up during the show. I know he's seen it. Uh, Bully Ray. You know, on this sign, I made sure it wasn't rippable. You can see the sign's a little thick. This isn't, this isn't a rippable sign, doesn't you know? So I, I, as he signed it, he signed it right here. You can see Bully Ray. And then I asked him when he was signing it uh, to, if he could make it out to Kevin, and he actually did. Surprisingly, I'm sure everyone when they were watching that video or when I tweeted that photo that they thought he was going off on me, but really he was going off on everyone else. And you know, I got a lot of respect for Bully Ray. He even, uh, I remember I had a contest where I had everyone tweeting him my video, my last day in life video when it was at Chicago. And he didn't respond to anyone. But then a week later, no, he probably, I probably got like 30 some tweets but just saying, hey, Bully Ray, go watch this video when they were tweeting him. 30 some entries that uh, people actually, or that people actually sent him the tweet. So 30 some people sent him the tweet. He didn't respond to any. A week later, I sent him the video. I'm like, great, I had a great time at the show. You made a memorable experience. And he actually tweeted back saying, good video. And, you know, it just, that meant a lot. Hopefully he sees this video. That'd be really cool. So, yeah, thanks to Bully Ray. I know, uh, Prior to going back, Jeremy Borash was just like, the guy's not in the mood for signing. <laughs> so, as it's just great, you know. Just happy. Oh, and one more thing. Jesse Goddard's autograph. See, it's right next to Bully Ray. Look at it right under Bully Ray. Right here. What the hell is that? <laughs> I just, I, was, I found that funny when I seen that autograph. But yeah, really cool. Uh, and this was something I got signed by Samoa Joe right at the end. I know Samoa Joe wasn't really signing much, so thank you to Sam. I wouldn't have this signed if it wasn't for Sam. Uh, the Mick Foley, I've had this, I, I don't really collect figures, but I've had this for like four years now. Uh, this was the first thing I bought when I wanted to go meet Mick Foley. It was sort of like a last minute thing. Got Mick Foley to sign this back in 2010, I believe it was. And now look, four years later, I got Samoa Joe to finally sign it. So thank you, Sam. Really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, what else can I say? Uh, Bully Ray was great. Anderson was a really nice guy. I want to say Anderson is probably one of the nicest wrestlers I've met. Really nice guy. Bully Ray, though, just great meeting him. I didn't really talk that much. I was like, you know what, I know I'm going to meet him again eventually. And when I meet him again eventually, I'll have to try to have a conversation with him. But right now, I wasn't trying to push any of his buttons. I was trying to just, I was going to hold up the sign for the picture, but I was just like, you know, forget it. I didn't really think about it till after. Uh, but yeah, Bully Ray was a really good guy. Uh, just, just one of my favorite wrestlers. Probably one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Uh, definitely made my all my TNA experiences. It was definitely a blast. I wanted to get him to sign the photo where, you know, I was just standing there and he was just ripping up my sign. But I freaking Walgreens just pain the ass at Walgreens. So I'll I'll get that sign eventually. I'll somehow get it printed out. And hopefully get that signed. But hopefully TNA comes back here for a pay-per-view. Uh, I think Chicago well, is well-deserved for a pay-per-view. You know, WWE always comes here for pay-per-view. And they come here for a reason. Because the fans here can fill up arenas. Uh, they can just, the loudest fans, you know, just, it's better than going to, like, those Texas arenas and stuff, you know. But, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you check out my friend Jeff, who was with me. I'll have his link down below. He has a YouTube channel as well. He makes scratch off videos, so if you like scratch offs, he just scratches. <laughs> he does a lot of gambling, so go check him out. Uh, I'll also have the Red Standard down below. He was the one that told me about this event, you know, before. Otherwise, I would never had front row tickets. And uh, his link will be down below, so thank you to him as well. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like, please share, please comment. Let me know what you thought. If you got any questions about TNA events or anything, if you're going to one, I know usually before I go, used to go to events, I used to look up people's videos and just try to figure out like how these events work and stuff or how autograph signings work. And I used to have a lot of questions. So if you got a lot of questions, make sure you ask me. I'll answer them. And uh, yeah, thank you to TNA for coming back here. Uh, I know I got the other day, I just had another day in life where I ate that squared circle burger. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. Gil Kim was there. Uh, but yeah, guys, make sure you check out my previous day in the life so if you haven't seen that. The one from Chicago is my favorite day in the life I've made. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to Bully Ray. Thank you to Sam. Thank you to TNA. You know, thank you just for the great experience. Great show. Please come back soon. Hope TNA's back in the area, uh, for a pay-per-view next time. And thanks, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Peace.
doesn't matter, but it would be fine.